Hey, what's up guys? For the last couple of days, I've been thinking that how your fear of looking like a fat lesbian has returned and now you can't go to the hairdressers because you're afraid they won't give you a haircut? What? No! I've been thinking that you can't have any children because of the of your vagina? Or penis for that matter? Again, no. What I've been trying to say is, is that I've been thinking about all the bad TV adverts that just tell audiences lies. I mean, have you even seen any of those yoga adverts? Hi, my name is Laura F and I'm here to talk to you today about the brand new cherry and f flavoured yogurt. It's full of anti to help you through your day and then it will help you in a small child. But don't take my word for it, just ask some of our actual customers. Before I turned to religion, I always wanted to try yogurt, and now this cherry and f flavoured yogurt, I can get all the f I want. Whoever invented this f monkey yogurt is a genius. It gave me diabetes. I've always wanted that. And the best part of this yogurt is that there's no side effects. <gasps> See? It just works. Where am I? This yogurt? This yogurt? It killed my baby. It killed my husband. Don't buy it, okay? Just don't buy it. <laughs> See, our customers love it, and now you can too. Available on all good retailers, please do not eat. Side effects may cause septicemia, diabetes, IVF, and death. Subject to change over time. Limited stock supply. Where can I get one? You can't trust any adverts. There's always that stupid little disclaimer thing at the bottom of the screen. It's on everything. Hair shampoos, tissues, even cereal. Obviously people don't know how to eat cereal properly, but it's on there. Trying to read it all and make sense of it is just so awkward. But you know what is awkward? Knowing that my aunt got turned down from being the new Pope last week. What? Apparently, some god bloke tweeted me yesterday afternoon telling me I should be the new Pope. So I thought, sweet, and here I am. But, one thing. I hate religion, and I don't even know what this thing pope business is for. Oh well, happy Christmas wherever you guys celebrate. And that's my family. My point to this video is similar to last week's video. You shouldn't trust things just because people have said them to you. I don't know, go out, work it out for yourself, follow them if you have to, just to make sure that they're telling the truth. Over the years, I've been lied too many times, and it took a while for me to find out that they were actually lying. And that's a lot of time which I'll never get back. So here's my question to you guys. What would you do if you found out that your friends had been lying to you for years and years? Comment below with your answers, as well as also like and favourite this video. I have a video every single Tuesday, and now Thursday. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then you can do by clicking this button below. If you get incredibly bored like me, you can check out my second channel here, where I upload a random video when I'm out and about. All of them so far have been in my house, but don't go out that much. So I hope you guys like this video and I will see you on Thursday.